Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you on today. Just thank you for today, Lord. This is the day that you have made. I will rejoice, Lord. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives right now. I thank you for all of the opportunities that you're making, all the ways that you're making, Heavenly Father. Lord, I just pray, Heavenly Father, for wisdom. I pray for strength. I pray for guidance. I pray for direction right now, Lord. Help us, Heavenly Father, to know what your good and perfect and acceptable will is, Lord. Heavenly Father, I just cast away and cast down any distractions, any imaginations that aren't a part of what your plan is, that aren't based on the truth, Heavenly Father. Any imagination, Lord, that the enemy is trying to suggest to us or trying to put on our minds, our hearts, Heavenly Father, because you know the plans that you have for us, Lord. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us, Heavenly Father. Plans for good, Lord, because you work all things out for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose, Lord. And all of us, Heavenly Father, have the opportunity to embrace you, Lord, to call on your name, to receive you, Lord, to receive salvation, to accept your son Jesus as our Lord and Savior and to walk with you each and every day, Heavenly Father. So Lord, I just pray for every person who may be listening who doesn't have an intimate relationship with you, Lord. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you open up their eyes, their hearts, their minds, Lord, to just receive your love, Lord, that you freely give that is like unlike any love, Lord, that they've ever experienced, Heavenly Father. I pray that on today, Lord, they receive you, that they receive your son, Heavenly Father. And I pray for those who may be slightly out of touch, Heavenly Father. Maybe they haven't spent as much time with you as they want to, Lord, but just give them the wisdom and knowledge to know even right now that all they have to do is call upon your name, Lord, and you'll hear them and you'll respond to them, Lord, that at any given moment in time, you want to have a relationship with them. You want to be in fellowship, Lord, and in communion with your people, Heavenly Father. That's why you created us, Lord. And just like we're sitting here, Lord, and, and we may be isolated, we may be quarantined, Heavenly Father. We don't have to be in isolation, Lord, because you are always with us, Lord. You will always be with us, Lord. So we rejoice in today, Lord. We rejoice in knowing that we have a Heavenly Father who cares about us, a Heavenly Father who loves us, a Heavenly Father who's with us, who's for us in all things and in all ways. So we just thank you, Lord, and we appreciate you. We appreciate you just keeping us, Lord. We appreciate that we're here, Lord, and we know that since we're here, we have a purpose, Lord. We have a purpose here on this earth, and you have a plan for our lives, Heavenly Father. So, Lord, I just, on behalf of everyone who's listening, Lord, just come to you, just seeking, Lord, that you reveal, that you show your plans, your purpose for our lives, Lord, and help us to walk those plans out, Lord, step by step, day by day, not being anxious about it, not being worried, not being fearful, not being doubtful, but being glad, Lord, and rejoicing, Lord, that there's a reason why we're here. So God, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for your son, Jesus. I thank you for your sacrifice of dying on the cross for all of our sins, Heavenly Father. And I thank you, God, for just being Lord. I thank you for your Holy Spirit within us, guiding us, leading us, comforting us through these times. And if you have not received God's spirit, I, I encourage you to pray and believe and receive because God lives and dwells on the inside of us. He's able to help us at all times. And all you have to do is just incline your ear to God and call out to him and he will be there. And he is here always at any time. I thank you. I bless you, Lord. It's in Jesus name we pray. Amen.